everyone. Welcome back to Bella Branch DIY. I hope you're all having an awesome day. I have some really cute DIYs and they all are using the same thing. We're gonna use raffia and we are gonna make two baskets using the same basket and a bag. You guys ready? Let's go. First, you're gonna take a pom-pom maker and we're gonna make some pom-poms out of raffia. So you're going to open up the pom-pom maker and you're going to start wrapping the raffia. You can use yarn if you want, but I'm using raffia. And we're going to wrap that around one side of the pom-pom maker. Keep going all the way on the other side until it's the same thickness as you did on the other side. Now close it up and we're going to finish making the pom-pom. Now there's a little divot right where my scissors are right there and you're gonna keep snipping that all the way through to the other side. Then we're gonna take a piece of raffia that's probably about a foot long, and we're gonna put that in that middle little well that's right there. And we're gonna pull that around and we're gonna knot it in a double knot, but you have to pull it really tight, then open up each lever, pull it apart, and then it's time to fluff up your pom-pom and trim your pom-pom into the shape you want. And you're just gonna continue with the same pom-pom process for all the colors that you want to add to your basket. And just keep going until you have four pom-poms. Now take your hot glue gun and put a dab of glue, or a little more than a dab at the top, and add your first pom-pom. Then put your next pom-pom right next to that one and continue on until you have four at the top. And you could do it all the way around if you want, but I chose to just do four. And when you're adding your pom-poms after you put the hot glue, you may want to hold it for about a couple seconds just to make sure it's secure. Now cut a bunch of strips of raffia, about three inches, and we're going to tie them into double knots. So after you've tied all your little knots, you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna snip the little tails off of each side. Next, we're gonna hot glue them all around the basket. And you can put them wherever you want on the basket. There's no pattern at all. This is so cute. Really adds an extra little detail that goes along with the pom-poms. And I hope you guys love this. For project number two, we're going to take a bunch of strips of raffia and we're going to lump those together and cut it about 10 inches. Then fold that in half and split it and that would make five inches. And you're just going to repeat this process until you have a big stack of little five inch pieces of raffia because you're going to need a lot. Now take a strip of raffia, fold it in half and take the loop side and you're going to push that through one of the openings on your bag. Then take the tail ends and pull those through. And you wanna pull it through so it goes down. You're not gonna pull it up because you want all these little tassels to hang down. And then just keep repeating the process until you fill the whole bag. I sat and watched a Netflix film while I was doing this because it took about an hour to fill the whole bottom of the bag. This turned out so good. It's the cutest little bag. Now for project number three. First, you're gonna take a glass and you're gonna use that as a circle template and you're gonna trace three circles, one big one in the middle and two small ones on the sides. Then you're gonna take your embroidery needle and thread some raffia through it and go from the back and pull it forward and then just go back and forth from the center of the circle to the outside of the circle. And you wanna go on the outside of your line so it covers up the black that you're probably gonna use when you draw your circle. And then you're just gonna keep going back and forth and you're gonna use multiple colors. Now take a piece of raffia with a knot on one end and pull it from the inside of your basket through the center of the rosette. And you're gonna make a knot. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the needle and wrap the raffia around it about four times. 
and then insert that needle right next to that knot and then pull that through. Be sure not to pull it too tight or too hard because you don't want to pull the knot through and you want to keep the knot on top. Now let's add a running stitch. So go in from the back and pull through to the front and you're gonna create a running stitch about a half inch apart. Now let's add some X's. You're gonna take your needle and pull it from the inside of the basket to the outside and then go about an inch, push it down and then create your X. Now we're gonna add a couple more knots because I wanted some more color. So we're gonna add some white, do the same thing, make a knot like we did before. Wrap it around four times and then push it through right next to the knot. Now you could use the same technique I used on the first basket where you just made the knots by tying them in double knots if you want and just glue it to the basket. Now let's add some tassels. You're gonna measure about five inches in length and just keep wrapping back and forth about, I'd say 10 or 12 times. And then slide a piece of raffia through the loops at the top. And then you're gonna take another piece of raffia and tie a knot and wrap it around a few times, about three quarters inches down from the top of your tassel. Cut the bottom of your tassel, making sure there's no loops and it's just a straight cut and then make a couple of these, and then you're ready to add it on to your basket. And you're done. It's so cute. All these projects look so good. I hope you guys love today's DIYs. I think they turn out so good. They're super easy to make, and they're inexpensive also. So I wanna know what you guys think. Be sure to comment, let me know which one you plan on trying, and until next time, bye.